When we hear about SpaceX testing the Starship or launching rockets, it might seem straightforward. But every test and launch of a space rocket involves complex and challenging tasks. And when the rocket in question is as large as the Starship, the stakes are even higher. Despite these challenges, SpaceX and Musk have tirelessly worked toward significant milestones in the development of the Starship. However, while they need encouragement and support for their efforts, some government bodies add to their challenges by imposing unnecessary requirements and strict regulations instead of facilitating. One such body is the Federal Aviation Administration, or FAA, which plays a crucial role in approving these launches. In this video, we will explore how the FAA's stringent rules and oversight is complicating things for SpaceX and could potentially delay the upcoming fourth flight of the Starship. Those of you who have been following the Starship flight tests are well aware that obtaining the FAA launch license has been a significant problem and often more suspenseful than the launches themselves. For the first and second flight tests, SpaceX faced considerable delays due to the FAA's review processes, which were frustrating. Notably, during the first integrated flight test of Starship, SpaceX encountered a major delay. It took over nine months just to receive the FAA's launch license. Yes, you heard that right. Nine months just waiting for a piece of paper. Imagine what can be achieved in that time. But instead, the SpaceX team was left just waiting for the approvals to proceed. The situation with the second flight test was also similar. The Federal Aviation Administration license for this flight was issued on November 15, 2023, closely preceding the launch date scheduled for November 18, 2023. Additionally, the environmental review by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service concluded just a day before the FAA granted the license. After the first couple of Starship flight tests, SpaceX and other space companies realized they couldn't keep dealing with the slow regulatory process imposed by the FAA. They saw how these regulatory delays were holding back their projects. To address this, they collectively pushed for regulatory reforms by taking their concerns to the Senate. In response, the FAA has started to update its rules, too. They introduced new streamlined launch and re-entry regulations that are supposed to make the licensing process faster and more flexible for space companies. For the third Starship test flight, the licensing process with the FAA was notably faster compared to previous flights. SpaceX received FAA clearance just before the scheduled launch date. Now, after the third Starship flight ended with the explosion of both the first and second stages, it appears that the FAA is again causing delays. SpaceX and Musk have been aiming for the fourth Starship flight to occur on May 6th. However, as the target date approaches, there's no indication that the FAA has issued the necessary launch license, nor has there been any statement addressing the delay. Considering SpaceX's ambitious plan to launch 1,000 Starships per year, the FAA's slow licensing process becomes a significant barrier. Even if SpaceX could streamline the process to obtain a launch license in as little as one month, achieving 1,000 launches annually would still be practically impossible under the current system. This is why the FAA introduced a new licensing method specifically for SpaceX, allowing a portfolio of launches under one license. The new approach will allow for a portfolio of launches to be covered under a single license. For SpaceX, this means that the process of launching Starship missions could become significantly more efficient, allowing for multiple launches without the need for separate licenses for each mission. SpaceX's reaction to this development has been positive as the company has been working on the Starship program with the aim of making space travel more accessible and ultimately facilitating missions to Mars. The program has seen a series of test launches with the goal of achieving orbital flight. And recently, the spacecraft reached orbit for the first time on its third test flight, marking a significant step forward in the program. The third test began with the ignition of all 33 Raptor engines on the Starship, enabling it to leave the launch pad and ascend into the sky. Following this initial stage, the Starship continued its mission into space, where it was supposed to demonstrate various technical capabilities, including engine restarts and maneuvers in the vacuum of space. The Super Heavy booster attempted a new maneuver during this flight, and it performed a boost back burn to return to a planned splashdown point in the Gulf of Mexico. 
Unfortunately, during its attempt to land, the booster encountered problems that led to its destruction just meters above the water. Meanwhile, Ship 28 successfully completed its engine burns and achieved the planned trajectory for the test. It then attempted to conduct a series of tests in space, including testing the payload bay door operations. However, the flight ended with the starship losing contact during its re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere at about 65 km altitude. After the flight, FAA announced the initiation of an investigation into the mishap. Following the third test flight of Starship, SpaceX didn't pause for long before setting its sights on the next launch. Gwynne Shotwell, the president of SpaceX, speaking at the Satellite 2024 conference in Washington, announced plans for the next Starship launch to occur in approximately six weeks from the date of the announcement. This puts the schedule for the next launch in early May. During her talk, she reflected on the third test flight as incredibly successful, emphasizing that the flight achieved its objectives precisely as planned. After the third flight, SpaceX made many adjustments to both the hardware of the Starship and the infrastructure of Stage Zero. The team has made hundreds, if not thousands, of tweaks to improve the Starship's design. These efforts are crucial as they set the stage for the upcoming launch, which many anticipate will occur in May. During this upcoming Starship flight, SpaceX aims to focus on three main objectives. The first objective involves improving the landing of the vehicle by controlling engine burn and booster landing. This is a significant change that could alter the flight profile for the upcoming launch. The other two objectives involve securing the heat shield tiles and eliminating roll issues during Starship's re-entry, which are similar to past flights. The year 2024 is anticipated to be the most successful year yet for SpaceX. In 2022, SpaceX concluded the year with a record for most successful launches by any rocket family. The momentum didn't stop there. In 2023, SpaceX broke its own records, launching vehicles of the Falcon family 96 times, which included 91 Falcon 9 and 5 Falcon Heavy launches. Not only did SpaceX surpass its own record, but it also achieved a significant milestone by completing 100 launches in a consecutive 365 days period. As SpaceX closed out its most successful year in 2023, it set the stage for even more ambitious goals in 2024. The company is targeting a staggering 148 launches, which would require a launch cadence of once every two and a half days. The majority of these launches will use Falcon 9 rockets. There will also be Falcon Heavy launches and Starship launches included in this plan. This plan reflects SpaceX's ongoing efforts to decrease turnaround times on its launch pads and increase the overall launch frequency. The reduced turnaround time for launches, enabled by the FAA's updated licensing process, could significantly impact SpaceX's ability to achieve this goal. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.